She sees you when you're sleeping. She knows when you're awake. She knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. This video is about Hades, the Sandman of Deadlock. It's about time you met a real warrior. The Occult Security and Investigation Commission is a black box government organization that makes the CIA look transparent. It falls on the men, women, and entities of the OSIC to keep the country safe from sinister forces that are beyond the capabilities of local law enforcement. As a member of the notorious Sandman Division, Hayes is routinely tasked with infiltrating the dreams of persons of interest to assess their threat level and, if needed, to put them to sleep. Hayes is really the only true assassin-like character right now in Deadlock. She has specifically stealth in her kit. She goes invisible. When she's within a certain range of the enemy, she's pretty much fully invisible, but she starts to actually appear to the enemy. It breaks the invisibility the closer she gets. And she actually has the ability to not only solo the mid boss, but completely wipe the team. She's a true carry in the idea that the later the game goes, the more that Hayes has souls, the deadlier she becomes, the more difficult she is to deal with. Her ult can literally just wipe out an entire team and completely change the way the game goes. It can also do a lot of nothing and she can waste time and be the reason why you lose. All right, so first ability is the Sleep Dagger. It throws a dagger that damages and sleeps the target at max level. The Sleep Dagger applies a minus 12% bullet resist for six seconds on the wake up. So it just makes them squishier and easier for Hayes to kill the target after they wake up. It is a really, really strong skill. The cooldown is short on it, so it can basically be spammed in team fights. This is a very powerful skill, deceptively so, just only because it, you know, they wake up with damage. But um, I've even seen, I guess, Haze dagger builds. Second skill, smoke bomb. Turns Haze invisible. He keeps her invis as long as she is out of the radius of the enemy. Once she gets within a certain raid, range of the enemy she starts to appear you can see her clothes and stuff like it's pretty obvious that she's there the way people use this ability a lot of times is they'll uh get go in biz right behind a corner they'll come up and then they'll dagger Hayes' passive is called Fixation, and this is the reason why Hayes is so good at jungling. Think of the hero Ursa from Dota 2, but you have range. <laughs> it's really, really stupid. The more Hayes attacks her target, the more damage she does. That's really all you really need to know. You gain one stack per bullet hit, two if the hit is a headshot, so you get more stacks if you... Uh, have accuracy with your shot. This is a very, very strong skill. This is the reason why she scales so hard late game and the reason why she can wipe a whole team. And then Hayes' ultimate, enter a fury, firing weapon in nearby enemies with perfect accuracy. During the flurry, Hayes gains fire rate and bonus and will evade some of the bullets shot at her. This is what the ult does. Look at that radius. That radius is insane. The damage on this ult cannot be understated. It is absolutely devastating. Okay, it is absolutely devastating. It destroys anybody around. I was surprised myself even playing Haze for the first time. I was surprised at the damage. I didn't even know. I played against it, but playing as Haze just kind of puts it in better perspective because the cooldown on the ult is so short. And then once you buy cooldown items too, you fully, fully kick all the HP down of an enemy. I actually played a game of Haze trying to get recordings for this video, and I experienced the worst flame that I've ever experienced in Deadlock. We were losing really bad. I lost the lane. I was getting just destroyed. I was getting cooked, okay? I barely played Hayes, so I didn't really know fully what she could do, what she couldn't do. We still ended up winning the game. 
Um, <laughs> I ended up caring. I ended up carrying the game, and um, the guy was quiet for the rest of the game after that. Uh, after they started to see that, I started to understand a bit more about the character I was, as I was playing. But the point that I'm trying to make by even telling you this story is that Hayes has that capability. Hayes can definitely lose a lane and win the game. The way that you can use Smoke Bomb to carry the urn can really change the tide for your team. The urn can really help you come back and then being able to solo the mid boss is so ridiculous. I think both of those things combined make Hayes just a top tier character all around ways to deal with haze because i've seen some you know people really complain about haze being broken haze believe it or not there are ways to deal with her one way to deal with haze is to buy a metal skin if you pop metal skin when the haze is using her ult it does nothing um let me see if i can actually oops <laughs> well you see how crazy that damage is okay so i got a ult clear follow and then use my metal skin let's see if i can do it Ah, uh, didn't, okay, let me try to do this one more time. See that? All right, so you don't take any damage um, from the ult if you pop metal skin. Another thing is CC, right? If she's in the middle of her ult and she doesn't have unstoppable, then you could just stop her in the middle of her ult. And let's say you're a character that doesn't have CC. Well, you can build CC. Knockdown. If you use knockdown on the Haze in the middle of her ult, it will stop her ult. Haze is easily counterable. It's just the thing is that people don't know. So if you know these things, then this hero isn't that strong. Have the Wraith use her ult on the Haze. Have the Dynamo use his ult on the Haze. Have anybody with a stun use their stuff on the Haze. I try to use my ult on a team, and I think the great talent and yeah, the great talent threw his eagle, and the eagle landed on my ult and stunned me in the middle of it, and I died. 